I don't think I found his spaceship the last time I was here. That might have been too much sand. I don't really remember. Let's just, uh... Oh yeah, that's right, I can't go in it. I keep thinking I can explore other people's spaceships. That's like the only thing in this game I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that. Other than that, it's like literally perfect. Uh, but what's my plans today? We are going to get to the escape pod and explore the other options underground, so I have to find that quickly. Just so we can go down there, because I remember... There was like two other ways to go or something. Let's read these again. Keep moving. Yep, there's nothing... Wait, there's nothing interesting at the end of this. All these rocks are interesting. Nothing of interest. Okay, would that be a quantum thing? With the rocks, maybe? And do not follow this tunnel to its end. Okay, well, let's try this one. No, it is just literally rocks. They weren't lying. I was expecting something quantum. Because we still have to find the quantum signal on this planet, I believe, as well. Oh, is this where the anglerfish is? From a different angle. Ah, it is. Okay. Okay, so that's where they went for the shelter. That was the door. So I'm gonna make sure if I read this or not. Passage leads to breathable air. We'll show you so far deep these tunnels may wind, but do not linger. This area is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Is it? Refill your air supply tank and return quickly. Why? Why would I do such a thing? Okay, we gotta find where this quantum signal is on this planet. Because I swear there is one. Yeah, down here. Straight down. Sure, I'll go and see where it leads. What's the worst that could happen? Wouldn't be a timing thing, would it? Where you have to get in some type of hole before the sand starts filling up? Maybe I just missed it in the Sunless City. That burns. That hurts a lot. I might die. <laughs> Who would have thought sand transferring from one planet to another would hurt you? What a crazy concept. Oh, I'm almost dead. If it's right here, maybe it's from that bridge over. Maybe there's a, a way to see it. Or maybe it is underground and I just missed the opportunity. Because I did kind of fall out and I can't get back up easily. So until this sand fills up a bit more. Because I can latch onto this little ledge here and I have a chance. Hey, I made it back. Not on purpose, either. Uh, let's see what else we can see down here before the sand overtakes it all. Now, this just falls straight down. Where does this even lead? It's just like a chasm that I can't get through. Oh, I, could, I could push down, but I can still explore it. Not like there's anything there at the moment. What is this? Because I really didn't find anything else 
new besides that one opening with the the air. <laughs> the air. The opening to the surface is what I meant. Oh look, here's the quantum signal. That's what I was looking for. Cave shard. Let's learn about this one and see what kind of weird properties this one might have. Does it move? Doesn't seem to. Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me. He vanished without a trace during a research trip and has been missing ever since. Melloray, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Burr. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Oh, so it just transfers to different caves. Where was young Coleus lost, Mallory? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant without warning. I turned away from Coleus to explore a sample, to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air, Anana. I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis. We will learn more by examining the northern lake bed cave where Coley's disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time to squander. The northern lake cave. It disappeared and showed back up. What if I stand on it? Will it transport me? Does the same thing still apply if I take a picture of it? Will it still be there? Probably. And where does this lead out to then? This is not where I put my ship. Northern Lake Bed Cave. It would probably be that, wouldn't it? I would assume it's that, but we kind of have to hurry. We have to maneuver in a way that we're not going to die. <laughs> not die, per se, but before this sand gets up in there. I'm kind of going away from the North Pole, but maybe this will lead me into something. Because I haven't been in here, so this is definitely new. Okay, so this leads out to one of those broken bridges I saw as I was struggling to get back up out of that chasm. Well, then what's up this staircase? I don't know why I saw the picture of the, the quantum signal there. Quantum signal. Mallory Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed of the North Pole. Several days ago... Oh, the bottom of the dry lake bed. Okay, so I have to get there quickly. Several days ago, I weren't able to find any trace of him, unless this is that. I don't know how much hair he had when he disappeared. I beg any friend reading this, help us recover Coleus. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to the rock I met earlier. Okay, so I am in the right place. Wasn't this same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? Never mind. I'm not at the bottom of the dry lake bed at North Pole. We plan to re-examine the, no the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update. Mallory and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. That means this, this rock wonders like the quantum moon does. How curious. So let me go. Oh, hello. You're back. And now you'll. Ow. And now you'll stay there. For a couple minutes. Okay, so next loop, I have to come here immediately and go to the very bottom to see what's down there.
So since I missed that opportunity this loop, I think I will take the time to maybe visit Giants Deep. I still have to get in there. Yeah, I think I'll go and visit Giants Deep. Wait a second. That looks like it has the same reflective glass as the sun. The sun. The eye of the universe symbol. Can I see out from down there? Yeah, I can. Okay. So it's the same reflective... Uh, two, what is it? A one-way mirror? Or a two-way mirror? Is that what it's called? Where you can see through the other side, but they can't see you through there? Anyways. <laughs> Back on topic. I want to go to Giants Deep real quick and just um, take one of the reverse cyclones down and see if I could just sneak in the core there. Because I remember I did it before, but I didn't really explore too much of the full core all the way around it. So maybe I am uh, missing the entrance. Because we did see the entrance whenever I went to visit the Orbital Pro Cannon and gotta look inside <laughs> the one time I hit an island let's just repair it All right. so we need a counterclockwise spinning one right here oh there's like trees sticking out of it. That's the only way I could describe that. Because I know if I touch it, I get electrocuted. I've done- I've tried that before. <laughs> What's the secret to getting in here, then? Maybe I was doing something <laughs> special there. <laughs> Getting close to it like that. I thought it was going to let me in if I just went at a slow speed. But definitely not. Gotta repair that. <laughs> okay, so that's another mystery we have not solved yet. That is okay. I just want to land on an island and read our ship log. Oh, that's right. What am I doing? Land on the actual thing, you idiot. Where this takes it up. Whatever, I'm not even going to bother repairing it because we're going to loop. And trying to repair anything with this gravity on this planet is a pain in the ass, so... We're just going to loop. And then we'll read it once we loop. <laughs> Oh, hey, Quantum Moon. Actually, I don't think I can read this real quick, because I need to get to the Ember Twin as quick as possible. So I can get in there just to view the Quantum stuff. So, we will read that after we visit there. He said, bottom of the lake bed. Jeez, they weren't kidding, bottom of the lake bed. Holy shit. Don't be any ghosts matter here, please. I'm trying to get here as quick as possible. Well, that was a dead end. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. <laughs> that 
That was all dead end down there. I didn't go too deep, did I? Oh, I thought maybe I could slip in with the sand rising. I guess not. Well, I gotta get out of here. I might be dead, actually. Oh, yeah, I'm so dead. <laughs> I got two things to read. We'll just read them all over again. Though my nose, a strange wandering rock that appeared in multiple caves on Ember Twins' northern hemisphere. On a strange rock shard that moves, if I'm not watching, it emits a signal on the quantum fluctuations frequency. Wandering rock was first spotted in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember's Twin North Pole. Though my name, Coley, has mysteriously vanished from, from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twin's North Pole. I'm sure he just didn't get killed? <laughs> No, he didn't, get, he didn't get killed by that. He got, probably got transported somewhere. I'm trying to figure, like, I went in there. There was dead ends everywhere. Did I just not go in the right area? It's very claustrophobic and hard to navigate in there, so maybe... I'm not sure about that. We'll have to explore that at a later date, because, uh... Enough fucking around, we're gonna go to... What is it called? Dark Bramble next episode and then i'm hoping that'll tie a lot of loose end questions that i have and then i can revisit the places that are confusing me because i haven't been to dark bramble once at all yet i've been everywhere else that i know of besides landing on that thing i haven't figured out how to do that yet Let's read these on the Dark Bramble, then. One of the three Nomai escape pods never made it out of Dark Bramble. Okay, we knew that. The vessel. Nomai warped to the solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the eye of the universe. The vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. Feldspar headed off to Dark Bramble after reaching the core in Giant Deep. The core of... Wait. Feldspar headed off to Dark Bramble after reaching the core of Giant's Deep. When I launch my scout into the seed that crushed on, that crashed on Timber Hearth, it ends up in a much bigger space filled with fog and thorny vines. Oh shit, I didn't even think of throwing the scout inside of Giant's Deep. Of the core, I didn't think of that. You know what, I want to do that right now. Go scout launcher. I saw something there. What was it? Oh, wait. It got shot back at me, didn't it? That's what that was. Yeah, it gets pushed right back. Well, then I really don't know how to get in here yet. <laughs> okay, so it just repels anything that comes near it. So how would you get in there, then? Wait, if a jellyfish breaks through, is there a gap for me to get in? No. <laughs> there is not. <laughs> what if I throw a scout at the jellyfish? Does it care? It kind of does. Gets rid of it. Okay, well, it seems skimming off the top didn't do as much. I don't care if I die right now. It's, I'm at the end of the episode anyways. Just purely experimenting for my own interest here. See, why don't those tree branches that are sticking out have that red to it? Because even when the jellyfish are approaching the the yoke, I'll call it, I guess. I don't know. How to explain it. See, like, I'm getting shocked, but am I dying? Probably will in a second, but... Yeah, now we're actually dead, because I think my ship's gonna explode in a second.
There it is.